He is the Vice President and Director of Athletics at UCF. Terry Mahajer is here. Welcome. Congratulations. Glad to be here. I bet it's been a crazy but exciting couple of days. Can you kind of share a little bit about what this has been like? Well, it's been very emotional. Uh, you have to say goodbye and, uh, to a lot of people you love and care for so deeply. Uh, but it's also very exciting uh, about this new venture and this new enterprise that we're going to be a part of. and. and just want to help build on the momentum that's already been started. And, uh, you know, uh, I have watched UCF grow um, from my time when I lived in South Florida. So to actually be here to help lead this program, to work alongside outstanding coaches and staff and, uh, and wonderful, wonderfully talented student athletes is uh, really um, going to be exciting. Family, you mentioned it is a homecoming. Come back to the state. Your mom is not far from here. Yeah, I would imagine for your yeah. wife and daughters and son, exciting to come back to Florida too. Yeah, it's exciting. They uh, they live down in uh, we lived down in the West Palm area for a while. My son was actually born in Boca, uh, so uh, I call him a Boca baby. And uh, so yeah, my folks uh, both live in uh, close to Winter Haven, and uh, so it's going to be kind of neat to be close to them. I I've had a lot of travels over the years and been to different places, different stops, and haven't really had a chance to live close to my parents. Um, so this was, def was definitely a bonus. wasn't necessarily the focus, but it was definitely a bonus that uh, they're going to be here. You had opportunities to look at other positions while at Arkansas State. This one was different. Why is this different, and why was this the right time and job for you? Because I look at this place as a, as a blank canvas. I mean, although you know, there's been a lot of growth and there's been a lot of uh, fantastic initiatives. Uh, I still think there's a lot of things that we can do and where we can be the first to do it, um, especially when it comes to competition, academics, and, and facility growth. And uh, being able to look at that canvas and be able to paint your own vision uh, to what you want to do um, is one of the reasons why I, uh, I looked at this place and, and why it was, uh, to me, more attractive or one of the, one of the most attractive jobs in America. And uh, it was clear that if, if they had any, when, once I got the call from them that they had some interest in me, I said, I've got to look at this. Because this is something Student athlete at. growth opportunity. You talked about that was an important part of your platform in Arkansas State. You believe it here. Can you share a little bit about that with Night Nation? Yeah, so, you know, um, Student athlete development is the most important thing. Obviously, recruiting, evaluation, recruiting, and development is the three areas that we have to really take a hard look at and 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 building this program. And um, I have the saying that NLI till you die. The day you sign this, the day you sign the national letter of intent, to the day you die, you always be a knight, and that means something. So if someone thinks enough of us to sign that national letter of intent, we should think enough of them to guarantee them a job or grad school placement. And so um, after their freshman year, sophomore year, we'll, we'll enter them in the Knight Nation, or Knight Leadership Academy, and we'll start the process for life after college. Um, life after college is the most important thing of what we do. Obviously, I want them to score a lot of points and be very successful at the competition, but we're preparing them for after college. Whether it be in the professional, professional sports or whatever it may be, they are prepared. The idea is you go to college, you get an education, you get a degree, and you get a job. You get a job, you can change your family circumstances for life. And you know what? That's the whole idea. Uh, and when our students know that, and we keep that core principle relevant every single day, that'll allow us to recruit, attract and recruit the most talented people in this country. To play off of that, the UCF vision, the brand, people use that term a lot, what do you view that brand to be, want it to be, not just of student athlete success in the classroom, but on the field and the competition that we play? Well, there's, in my mind, there's two brands. There's a brand inside the state and there's a brand outside the state. Uh, inside the state, it's a fantastic brand. People love the school. Everybody loves it, enjoys it. I met with the football team today. They all really like going to school here. People outside the state don't really know what type of institution this is. They know it's a good, they have good football. Uh, at times had good basketball and some other sports as well. So we need to be as the front porch of the university and, and as a strong football program, we have to be the window inside this university so people can see how 
strong it is academically and what type of uh, uh, connections we can help create in the business community. People have heard labels, P5, G5. Yes. Earlier today, your interesting press conference, you talked about you are what you want to be in a yeah, way. That's right. Don't get caught up in labels. Yeah, don't get caught up in labels. Your, your, your level's your state of mind. I told the players that today. Don't worry about whether you're going to be. There's a lot of things that you can't control. The one thing that you can control is your brain. You can control your mind. You can control what you want to be. So we need to train our brains to, be, to, to play at whatever level we want it to play. If you think you are the best, then you'll play like the best. And so uh, that is very simple. I mean, it's, it's that simple. And you know what? If you need to create affirmations and, and affirm constantly that your level is your state of mind, then do so. Then we will do so. Uh, you're unique in the sense of hiring a second football coach in a couple of months at two different programs, circumstances, we understand. Can you share a little bit with the fans about the process, timeline? I know there is no set deadline. You, you want to find the right person, but can you share a little bit about what you're looking for as you begin the search? Well, you know, the, I have a certain profile that I look at. I don't really talk at, publicly about it, but I mean, you know, because I, I get a lot of people all of a sudden now tell me who, who those people are. But, uh, you know, um, you know, we've already started a little bit and start, you know, looking at names and, and uh, you know, um, uh, you know, I hope that now that I've been named AD that we, uh, we uh, I'm going to go back and talk to some of the people that are involved in the process and ask them, hey, is there any new names that have surfaced just to make sure before we get started. Um, now they know who the AD is going to be. And so uh, that's something that I'm going to do tonight and probably even this afternoon. Um, and then, then, you know, I'm getting after it. Uh, that stadium, which is uh, across from us, uh, what do you want it to be in a game day with a, a, a young core of fans in the sense of the youngest alumni group in the country, the fastest growing in the country? What's the benefits of that? And what do you want that stadium to be like on Saturday? Rocking. I want it rocking, man. I want the, I want the Bouse Hounds rocking, man. And uh, you know what? You have, you have, we have an innate opportunity to create an atmosphere unlike any other place in the country. Uh, with our student body population, uh, with the rabbit fan base we have, uh, we can create something special. Um, it's not going to be the biggest stadium in the country. Who cares? It's, it's, it's about the atmosphere. It's about how you feel when you walk on that field. So every time our players walk on that field, they know their hair turns on fire because the excitement and the energy is so, so live. Uh, you shared about your energy excitement. Uh, some fans have already seen the power of social media. Uh, you'll do push-ups after touchdowns. If we have high-scoring offense, that could be a lot of uh, push-ups. But yes. you're active. You're Better involved. Get in shape. I mean, you want that passion to be shown about your brand out there, your football team. Well, you know, I uh, yes, I got asked by ROTC to do push-ups. That's not something I do every time. I did it one time when I first got to got that Arkansas State. But um, you know, I, I will do some stuff that maybe is a little uncharacteristic for some ADs just to because the students will ask and they want to have fun and uh, you know why not uh, you know why not have fun with the students that's the so that's the population we serve as a student body and and if you can interact with them in a way that relates to them and uh, why not do that and uh, so uh, but I'm not a really guy that really wants to put myself out there I just who, Whoever found it, a bunch of people found a bunch of clips. I don't know. So I don't, I mean, those were like a montage like it happens, there, but that was like over a nine-year span. So, uh, um, yeah, so I'm not a, I don't really love to be front and center, but uh, I do love to connect with people. You sit on the college football playoff committee. There's that perception about schools like UCF. In our conference, we saw Cincinnati, the opportunity. I know you have a role serving on that committee, but people wonder, about the system and schools like in, in the American and the opportunity. Can you share to some extent what your vision is and how you approach that? Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is not my CF. I can approach it from my non-CFP committee. I mean, the bottom line is you got to play teams and you got to beat teams you're not supposed to beat. And you want to do that, then you got a chance, you got a chance to, to play in the to playoffs in the format that's currently there. Uh, if, it's, if it expands, uh, that's not my role. That's not my role to comment on. If it expands, then we'll we'll we'll, we'll strategize our schedule based on that. Um, but right now, where it is, I mean, you, you've got to play. You got to win all your games, and you got to beat the teams you're not supposed to beat. It's not that different from other conferences if you really think about it. So um, you know, 
So we'll continue to look at that. From the students at UCF, the alumni, our corporate sponsors, our donors in the community, is there something that you want them to know that's important to you, to them right now as you begin this journey here at UCF? You know, I just, I, I th be, be patient. I need to learn. There's a lot of stuff uh, I need to learn. Um, I, I, uh, I'm going to move quick, but I'm not going to hurry. Um, so, um, and I'm going to prioritize what needs to be done. Um, and I, I believe that in due time, I will be able to meet as many people with key stakeholders that can help grow this program uh, much as possible. And so um, when uh, we get the search over, um, I'm going to get back to work. We got some other key athletic department hires we have to make. And uh, that's really important as well. Uh, then I need to evaluate just the services and the staff and what we're currently doing. And if I like it, if it, you know, if it uh, um, um, uh, fits our, 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 our daily priorities. And um, which I think, you know, I think we can do some tweaking there and here and there. Um, so yeah, I'm, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be uh, sprinting, man here really soon. So um, I'm just really excited. I want them to know that I'm going to, that every day I'm going to be excited about coming to work. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try to represent this institution to the best of my ability. Um, I, I try to dress nice. I try to, you know, I try to do everything I can to represent our student athletes. And uh, you know, that's what's, what my job is. All right, two final questions. You talked earlier today, I believe you're a Game of Thrones fan. I am a game. I am a Thrones fan. Is there fan. a character that describes you from the show? And there's a mm. everybody's got a little Jon Snow. Yeah, in there. I like Jon Snow. Yeah. So, sometimes. Can we get Some the dragons seasons. for flyover? Possibly? I like the dragons for flyover. I like. Yeah. I just like the dragons. Yeah. That's the character <laughs> I, I like to identify with. Uh, no, um, you know, not just. I just kind of liked it. I just liked it, little pieces of every character. A lot of characters. I want to end with this because you said what attracts you is an opportunity for still some of the first things to do. Yeah. And this university still is so young, and while there's been a lot of accomplishments in athletics, there's still some other things out there. Why is that so interesting and attractive to you, to help build something along the way here? Because it's really special to be the first to do something. And having student athletes in your alumni base and your students that go on to represent your school, it, it, it uh, builds a lot of pride. It builds pride in the heritage and the traditions of the athletic department but it also builds pride in your university and it builds pride themselves that they become great representatives, that they know that they can go back and say, you know, we were the first team to beat, you know, a, you know, um, a team in the Sugar Bowl. Or I guess it was at the time it was the Peach Bowl, right? Peach Bowl, Peach Bowl sorry, Fiesta, Peach yeah. Bowl. Sorry, Peach Bowl. And uh, um, so, I mean, that's a, that's a first. Never happened before, right? So um, to be able to say that, it's really special. And they'll be very prideful. And again, you are who you represent. He represent this school, and uh, that uh, really uh, will help uh, help uh, power the tradition of the university. Thank you, Terry. Welcome. Yeah, he is the new vice president, director of athletics, Terry Mahajer. Go Knights! Charge on.